to gut out a win like this. What does it say about this team? Yeah, I mean, at the right time, I thought we did what we needed to, especially defensively. We, in the fourth quarter, we really locked down, played good defense, made it difficult on them, and, uh, you know, Dwinger battled the whole time. And so, uh, you know, everything that we got, we had to earn, and credit to them to do that. What is a win like this when some of your top guys like Draylon were always hitting on all cylinders? How can a team learn, uh, learn from a game like this where – they could find ways to win even when the offense isn't always clicking. Oh, 100%. And then Isaac Zay was kind of battling a calf injury as well. Didn't really give us, uh, you know, as many minutes as he normally does. I thought he really competed when he was in there. Draylon kind of struggled tonight, to be honest. But when he when he came in in the uh, fourth quarter, I thought he played really well down the stretch um, and kind of left it behind, which is a maturity aspect that I think that, you know, he's gained. And, uh, you know, I thought overall Danny, Carmani, uh, Cam off the bench was really big for us. Um, and Darion had another big scoring night. So it was a team effort. Wes and Dame off the bench battled inside with Lehrman. And so, um, you know, credit to all of our guys that played tonight. Speaking of Lehrman, you really held him uh, defensively. What was working so well to uh, make things uh, really troubling for him on offense? Well, like I said, I thought Danny uh, especially really worked on him, trying to beat him to the spot in the post so he wasn't too low when he caught. Um, our plan really wasn't to double him too often because we didn't want to give up too many offensive rebounds and get out of position that way and give up too many open threes. Um, so we tried to lock in on other guys. Um, and then Damian Jackson and Wes Javens, when they came in, did a really nice job of being physical with him too. Um, so I just thought we battled with him the whole night, which uh, kind of wore him down towards the end. Finally, Coach, looking at the conference specifically, uh, everything is looking like next Friday is going to be pretty much the SAC title game against Wayne. What needs to happen this next week to make sure you guys are locked and loaded uh, for a huge conference game? Well, we need to take care of business on Tuesday at Norwell first. We try to look at one game at a time, one practice at a time. Um, you know, I don't think we get to where we are record-wise if we don't do that. Um, if we continue to look ahead for teams, then somebody's going to knock us off. So that's what we've been preaching to our guys. Um, but Wayne is a great team. I mean, they made it to the semi-state last year in 4A, have mostly everybody back. They play extremely good basketball. It's going to be a heck of an atmosphere in here, and it's going to be a lot of fun again next Friday night.